Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today, we are taking a sneak peek into Eloquii's fall styles. They've got some really cute fall items available right now, so I had to jump and grab some and try them on for you. I'm sure at this point, everybody who watches my channel is familiar with Eloquii because I've done a couple different hauls of theirs, but in case you're new here, first of all, subscribe, <laughs> and second of all, um, let me tell you a little bit about them. So Eloquii is a plus size only online retailer. They used to have a store in New York City. I don't know if it's still there post COVID or not, um, but mostly online. And actually they partnered with Walmart, I believe summertime is when it launched or spring. Um, and now they do an Eloquii Elements line with them, which is a lower price point. Eloquii has a variety of items from lounge to where to work to occasion dressing. So, and like swim, I don't think they do much activewear, um, but beyond that, they really kind of service all needs. And I'd say that they are definitely more fashion forward, early adopters with the trend. So it's always really fun to kind of be able to play into those trends um, as early as they offer it. They have a bold print pattern and color sensibility to them. And I always love their photography on their website. It's really enticing. I think they go from a 12 to a 30, but it might be a 14 to 28. Um, I'll definitely let you know right in this maybe little floating area, <laughs> which one it is. Um, and their price points are a little bit higher. I feel like on average, dresses are like 120 um, and maybe tops are more like 60. Um, sorry, I should have researched better, right? Um, <laughs> but they always have a sale. So even though the prices are a little bit higher, I feel like literally every other day you can pop on and something's on sale. So that's great. Um, like I said, the Eloquii Elements line is a lower price point. I feel like nothing is above $50 there, so that's really great. And like I said, Walmart carries a lot of it, I think even in store in some locations. So that's a great way to try on the brand if you've never tried it before. So now that we have that covered, let's get into the haul. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I'm straight from the front, but curvy from the side. So a curvy rectangle. And at Eloquii, I usually wear, I guess the 22, 24. Um, I'm probably closer to that 24 with them. So I think I got everything kind of in that 22, 24 range. Um, but I will let you know as we go through each item. So this is the first look I have on. And let me tell you, I'm so obsessed with these little twin sets, the sweater and cardigans, especially in patterns. So when I saw this, I was like, I need that. <laughs> so this is the checkered sweater tank and cardigan. Here is the side view and the back. They are sold separately. Um, the cardigan is $74.50 and then the tank was $44. I think it was $74.95 and $44.50. They're both um, in an acrylic wool recycled poly blend and it's called um, Argyle Check for the pattern. So super cute. This is a sweater knit. It's definitely a denser, thicker sweater. You get this kind of a uh, jewel neckline with the button front and then you've got these little pearl buttons on here. It is long sleeve and cropped and the argyle pattern is so cute. It's got tan and cream and then tan kind of binding, um, tipping along all the edges. And the tank, so the tank has this really scooped kind of squared off neckline. Um, the straps are slim, but they're not so slim that they won't cover your bra strap, so that's nice. The body is more fitted and it is definitely cropped. So long torso like me, <laughs> I would only wear kind of probably like paperback high waist, so like extra high. I think even with my jeans, it would be showing a lot of skin. 
So um, I do have a paper bag cream color leather skirt that I got from Eloquii last year, which I might try this with. Um, but I do think it's super cute and it's definitely pretty warm. So it'll keep you warm if it's cold outside. And then matched back, I am wearing these paper bag waist leather pants. These are in a size 24 in the color Friar Brown. Uh, they are 100% vegan polyurethane and they were $99.95. So I did size up to a 24 here. I feel like in some places it fits really well, like the waist and the hip but in some places it is, is a little bit baggy, like the thigh. Um, it has a high rise with a paper bag. However, the paper bag is really flat in the front. There aren't any pleats or anything, so I wish it had a little bit more fullness up here. The back is where you kind of get that paper bag effect, but if you're wearing something that covers it, you kind of lose it. Um, there is a separate tie here, and then there are pockets, these little patch pockets here. They're actually really deep as well. The body itself is, I'd say it's probably more tapered and it's full length. And then there aren't any pockets on the back. Um, the fabric is pretty nice. It feels kind of like authentic leather. Um, it's got some stretch to it. It is, I mean, leather pants are tough. They always get a little bit hot. So they are a little bit warm. Um, especially kind of where it's like the face of the fabric is touching my skin. It's a little like sweaty sticky. <laughs> so I'd probably wear like a tank top tucked in so it doesn't touch my skin directly. Um, but otherwise the fabric isn't bad at all. It's just a little, yeah, it's hardly noisy at all. So not bad there either. Um, I think these are really great. The color's beautiful and they're perfect for fall. So this next top is the Sweetheart Rib Top. I'm wearing a size 1820 in the color Friar Brown. It is a rayon span and it was $59.95. So let me untuck this for you. The length is a little bit shorter. It's kind of a mid hip length. Um, and I, as you heard I did size down to an 1820 here and I don't know if that was because my side my size was sold out or if I wanted to make sure it was going to be more of a fitted silhouette I feel like the body fits pretty well but I am running into some issues with the bicep um, it's a little bit tight so it's kind of causing the neckline to pull out so I would probably go back to my actual size so <laughs> with that being said it fits pretty true to size um, so you get this wider neckline here with the little sweetheart detail and the fabric is kind of a fine gauge rib. It's very stretchy, but also kind of lightweight. Um, with that being said, it doesn't feel like it shows all the lumps and bumps. So that's great. Or maybe it does. I don't know. I didn't see the back view. <laughs> um, and the color feels so like ready for fall. A lot of browns are happening. The sleeve is long and it's actually kind of an extra long length, um, which I like. And yeah, otherwise this one is definitely cute. I think you can wear it untucked. You can wear it tucked into jeans. I have it here with my little booties and it's great for layering or you can wear it just as like the top for itself. So this next look definitely takes me back to the early 2000s. So the skirt is one that I bought from Target. If they have it, I can link it below. Um, but the top is from Eloquii. And this is the boxy cropped polo. I'm wearing a size 22-24 in the color navy and white. And it is a cotton span and it was $64.95. So this one is definitely cropped. As you can see, she's a shorty. Um, doesn't hit my waist, but I do have a long torso. And <clears throat> I almost wouldn't mind her being a little bit more boxy. So I'd even maybe size up if I wanted to go for that like even more boxy fit. I love that she has the drop shoulders. It makes it feel more relaxed. And then these wide rugby stripes. The collar is a woven cotton fabric. And then you get this little um, kind of placket here. And 
The fabric has some good stretch, but also some good weight to it. I paired it back, like I said, to this high rise skirt. They had it online paired back to like a little leather mini skirt and it looked so cute. Um, I feel like maybe I don't have <laughs> the waist to hip ratio to kind of like give shape. Um, so it does look very boxy on me, but I think in general, this is really cute. And if you're a little bit shorter in your torso, this would be really cute with jeans um, as well. For me, I just need that extra length. So a skirt would be better. So this next item is um, a little bit different. It's more of an occasion dress, but it's really pretty. So this is the Nabella dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color crystal pink. It's 100% poly and it was $169.95. So like I said, this is a great occasion dress. It is higher price. Um, so. I think it's a good deal for an occasion, but it is higher than your than the price for your normal everyday dress. So just keep that in mind. Um, it is all made out of this mesh material. It's like a netting, and you get this beautiful sweetheart neckline at the top. Um, it's actually a non-functional wrap, which is pretty nice because then you don't have to worry about it separating or collapsing or anything. Um, there is this shearing kind of going along the neckline so that's really beautiful I should have sized up one because there is zero stretch in the waist and that's kind of where I'm finding it's a little bit too tight the rest of the body actually fits me really well it's it's just the waist um, and then there is a zipper in the back so it is intended to be more fitted but with that being said it's a little bit too fitted for me uh, it's got this waistband here so I feel like this is a really beautiful silhouette and then the sleeves are fully netted, no lining, and they've got an elastic right here as well as at the bottom. When I first put it on, I had both elastics at the bottom to kind of create this like long puff sleeve. And then I realized like, oh wait, I think one's supposed to go to the elbow to kind of create these two puffs. So you can really choose whichever one you prefer, um, which is nice. And it's about a midi length Lots of great fullness and swing in the skirt. I am wearing darker undergarments, so I don't know if you can see those through currently, but just keep that in mind. Um, and ultimately, this one's really pretty and kind of feel like a princess. And <laughs> I feel like, you know, it's great to go out to an event or sit on your couch and play Pretty Pretty Princess. So this next one isn't really fall but I was shocked with how amazing it is, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. This is the Empire Tie-Back Midi Dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color foam green. It is a cotton span and it was $119.95. So that other 2X, or I'm sorry, that other size 22 was too small. This size 22 is like perfect i would not change the size at all the fabric is a cotton span there is some nice stretch but it's got some good structure and then you've got this nice square neckline um, it's got princess seams so it gives you a nice tailored fit puff sleeves here with elastic i did switch to my strapless bra for this one um, but with that being said in case you guys missed it there's a cut out back here and i'm wearing a regular like strapless bra here and you can't see it because the ties in the back are wide and long and I was able to wrap it around there twice before I pulled it in a bow. So that really helped to cover that, which is amazing because who doesn't want to wear a bra? I mean, some people don't. Some people like to not wear bras, but your girl wants to wear one. Um, I think this is the best execution ever of this kind of open back detail because this has elastic and it's still cut high enough that it's not exposing kind of some of the fullness I have at my waist. Um, so yeah, I give them a gold star there. The bodice ends at the ampere seam and then there is a tear and it's a midi length ultimately. The color is so stunning. I love this kind of like citron green shade. And if it had pockets, it would be 100% perfect, five stars, but I'll forgive them for that because everything else is really a winner here. 
And the size 22 saga continues with this next one. <laughs> so this is the puff sleeve collar mini dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color s'il vous plaît. And it is 100% poly and it was $119.95. So I thought this was supposed to be a swingy dress. I'll have to double check the image online, but this currently is definitely like a straight cut dress. Um, I definitely have to go up one size, but if I wanted it swingy, probably two sizes, um, which is so crazy because the rest of it fits so well. Once again, I almost feel like, I mean, yes, I know your girl's got a booty and, and a tummy, um, but I almost feel like their fit model is narrower at the waist or at the hip in general. So maybe that's kind of why I'm running into weird inconsistencies, um, kind of with that measurement, but the dress itself is pretty cute. It's definitely a statement. It's got this oversized collar with a little ruffle detail. There is a tie front here with a keyhole, which you need to open to get it over your head. And then... The sleeve is a puff. It hits about three quarter length. Um, I have shorter arms, so when my arms are down, it is hitting my wrist. But for the most part, it is pretty much like a three quarter length sleeve with elastic at the bottom. And then it hits, it's definitely a mini, hits inches above the knee. And the fabric is a satin quality, so there is a little bit of sheen. It's very slinky. And the plaid on there is a printed plaid with blacks, navies, cream, maybe it's white, and blush. So definitely cute, definitely a statement. I love it back to these knee-high boots, um, but this size just isn't the right size for me. So here is the next look. And it's so cute. <laughs> Let me start with the jacket. So this is the vegan leather moto jacket. I'm wearing a size 22-24 in the color jadeite. It is 100% poly and it was $149.95. So definitely an investment piece, a little bit higher price point. I'd say get it on sale if you can. Um, they've got so many colors, so many, like 12 different colors. Um, ranging from you know black and brown to like yellow reds all that stuff. I chose this kind of like mid-tone dusty kind of foam green color and I think it's absolutely stunning. The fabric itself is a nice soft leather faux leather. Um, it has some stretch because it has stretch, it makes me really mad that they didn't use a stretch lining because where I'm finding some issues in the sleeve here, the sleeve doesn't stretch, but the rest of the body does. So <laughs> that just makes me sad. Um, with that being said, the bicep is a little bit tight, specifically right here. So <laughs> I wouldn't keep it just for that alone. Um, the body itself is a cropped length, so it's a cute, short length. It's got this asymmetrical front zipper, which is kind of standard for a moto. And, and then the collar here, these little snaps don't connect to anything. They're just decorative. And the sleeves are long. They've got zipper on the inside and there are also zipper pockets here at the sides as well. Like I said, this one is really cute and it's great you know paired back to a lot of things but i'm just a little bit sad that the arms don't work for me but what does work is this little cutie okay can we just take a moment to appreciate this dress so this is the next level essential dress i'm wearing a size 22 24 in the color black it is a cotton span and it was $99.95. So when I first saw this online, I was like $100 for a black knit dress. And to be honest, now I kind of feel like I'm like, okay, here, take my money. <laughs> Cause this is giving me shape that I don't think is actually there. <laughs> I'm wearing Spanx underneath, but I also feel like this fabric gives you kind of shaping 
also like the fabric just has some nice hold to it when i first felt the fabric itself i wasn't so sure about it it felt kind of dry a little like like dusty and what i mean by that is like when you feel like a frosted glass it has that kind of texture to it where it's like ooh, like a powder on your hand almost um so that's kind of the vibe that i felt like it gave me initially but like they knew what they were doing this one is definitely like perfect for what it needs to do <laughs> i love the square neckline it does have straps if you want to wear regular bra and the back also has this cute little square neckline the length is a midi length and otherwise it's really just an easy dress that can be worn a lot of different ways you know whether you're tying like um, a plaid shirt at the waist if you're wearing maybe a jacket over it i had the moto jacket um, you could even probably put like a collared shirt underneath it for kind of a look so this one's definitely cute sexy but classy and a winner all around I was really excited about this next one because it looks so amazing on the model online. Um, and it is really cute. <laughs> I just hate this turtleneck on me. I don't have the real estate of a neck for this one. <laughs> but this is the Intarsia sweater and skirt. I'm wearing a size 22-24. It is in the color brown and navy. And I don't know the price offhand because when things are out of stock, they kind of like get rid of the color name and get rid of the price for some reason. So um, because it's a sweater, I'm sure it's not cheap. Uh, I'd venture to say it's probably somewhere like $75 for the top, $119 for the skirt, but that's a guess. So if I find out, I'll let you guys know. But um, the sweater fabric itself is a nice kind of like double knit feeling sweater. Um, it's got this beautiful checkerboard pattern, long sleeve, with the rib cuffs and then the turtleneck which you know we're enemies <laughs> does it i mean does it matter that i just want a little bit of space to breathe <laughs> um it is a cropped length and you have the rib at the bottom plus the rib at the top of the waistband of the skirt there is elastic in the top and then it is just more of a fitted skirt with the same checkerboard pattern Super cute, really stunning. I love the colors of this with the brown and navy. Um, and I think a lot of people could pull this off in its current iteration. It's just not me. But with that being said, I do think it's a really beautiful piece. This next one leans into that 70s academic vibe. This is the puff sleeve collared sweater dress. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 and it's in the color Cafe Caramel Cafe, and it was $99.95. So this is a full sweater dress. Um, it's got kind of a drier hand wool blend fabric. You got this really long rib cuff here, which is pretty, and then just a little bit of puff at the sleeve, not too full at all. You get the collar, which I love this little collar detail happening, and then the deep V, and then the body itself, is more of a straight fitted cut. Um, you have a pretty high slit here. I'd probably like stitch it a little bit close um, because I currently am wearing Spanx shorts and I've like rolled them up a little bit on the leg. And you have a little bit of extra fullness at the bottom of the sweep, which is nice. And you also have a separate sash here, which you can choose to wear with or without. But I think ultimately, this is a really cute look, and I love the kind of the back to school academic collegiate vibe that this is giving. I tell you, the styling on Eloquy is on point. I feel like most of the things I buy are because I love how it looks on their photographs, so this is no exception. So let me give you a, a peek of what this outfit looks like. Let's admire the, the tonal teal on teal here. And the jacket is the quilted puff jacket. I'm wearing a size 22-24 in the color Hydro. It's 100% poly and it was $169.95. So first of all, color is stunning. It's a nice kind of 70s 
silky puffer without being like too stiff or too noisy. You have long sleeves, notched collar, and then it is a midi length and you get a square pattern of quilting. The actual fill in here is um, pretty lightweight, so definitely not a bulky jacket. There is no closure on here, so it is just kind of a little wrap, and then you do get a tie to keep it closed. I feel like I would size up one here just because I'd like a little bit more coverage in the wrap, as well as it is a little bit fitted at the hip, and then you can see the pockets poking out also because I could use a little bit more room there. Um, but other than that, I think this one is definitely stunning. Oh, this color, I just can't. <laughs> and then underneath, this dress is giving me Xenon Galaxy Princess vibes, especially with my hair right now. <laughs> so this is the Strong Shoulder Mock Neck Leather Mini. I'm wearing a size 22-24 in the color Atlantic Deep. It is 100% polyurethane and it was $129.95. So, <laughs> Mock Neck and I meet again. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely a trend right now and I like my neck hates it. I just I can't um, But it is in the same really nice quality PU uh, It has stretch to it, which is nice. There is Shoulder pads in the shoulders to kind of give that more structured strong shoulder structured strong shoulder <laughs> And then there is a center back zipper, which is kind of how you get your head through it there is no waist seam, but you do get princess seaming as well as a center front seam. And then it is a mini length down here. I'd almost maybe size up for myself because I feel like I have good room up here, but this is a little bit fitted and there is stretch here, but it just feels like it wants to be a little bit looser, especially if there's a tie. Like you always want the tie to kind of make something more fitted, but if it's already really fitted, then what's the point? I don't know. So yeah, I'd probably try a size up and see how that feels. Um, the color, stunning, love this deep teal. And it is a little bit warm. I think that's to be said about faux leather in general. Um, but this one's really cute and a nice little statement piece in your closet. So here is my last leather piece of the haul. And this is a puff sleeve leather midi dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color Friar Brown. It is a viscose polyurethane and it was $139.95. So I think I prefer this leather piece to all the leather pieces I tried on today. Um, just because it, like the fabric doesn't feel as warm, which is nice. And then also, there's just like room to move. <laughs> the other ones I felt a little bit like claustrophobic in. So this one's nice, but with that being said, the sleeve is a little bit outrageous. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this sleeve quite yet. So the neckline is a square. It's flat up here. You've got elastic at the shoulders, which actually feels like it would stay on really well. And then the sleeve, like I said, is really full. Lots of room for you your friends, your pets, your snacks <laughs> to fit in the sleeve. Um, it has elastic at the bottom edge and then there is this little seaming detail right here. The body itself is pretty fitted through the bust, the waist, and the high hip. And then at least on me, that's where it breaks away and gives me a little bit of A-line shaping. There's also this higher slit here and then the dress itself is a midi length. It has this separate tie, so you can hit yourself with it. <laughs> so you can um, define that waist a little bit more. And the fabric itself has some stretch to it, which is really great and comfortable. I think this one's pretty, like I said, unsure about the sleeve here. Um, and I might size up one. Like I don't mind the fit of this, but I don't know, I feel like maybe one more size up could be 
a little bit more comfortable even. So I don't know, really fun one. And with leather kind of dominating the trend right now, this might be a really fun one to keep in my closet. So last up, we have this maxi printed mesh dress. I'm wearing a size 22 in the color styled square. It is a poly span and it was $129.95. So this is kind of like a little two for one. You have a black cami slip underneath that hits a little bit below the knee. And then this top layer, and actually are there adjusters on the back of those straps? I don't think so. Uh, wait, yes. So the cami underneath the straps do adjust, which is nice. And then on top, you have a long sleeve mesh dress, and that goes down to about lower calf. It is sheer, so you can see the cami, or like the slip underneath it. And then the print on here is kind of this rust and navy, it might be black, I can't quite tell in this light, <laughs> um, but it's this kind of like broken square pattern. And the fabric is stretchy, it's comfortable, and I think this is such a fun little statement. This print is very 70s mod, which we're seeing a lot of those on the runway and in trend. So absolutely love this. I paired it back with my white booties. I think a little leather moto jacket would be cute with it. Um, or even like a leather trench could be cute. So definitely a fun little statement piece for your closet. All right guys, that wraps up the Eloquy haul. There were so many great items in that haul. I don't know which ones I'm gonna keep, but I definitely like this dress here. I also loved the black bodycon dress as well as the cardigan and little cami set. So yeah, definitely some items that are gonna be in my closet this fall for sure. Let me know down below what your favorite pieces were and if you're gonna go out and get any of them yourself. And as always, thank you guys for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.